And a lot of times your firearms are really good at telling you when they need to be cleaned. So what I mean is, is if you're having some weird issues with your firearm, it not feeding right, it not ejecting right, you've just got a little weird things going on with your gun, then it's probably needing to be cleaned. What's up everybody, it's Tactical Santa here and today I wanted to take a minute to talk about cleaning and maintenance. Now I'm not gonna sit here and in this video go down, go into breaking down handguns and rifles and shotguns and all that stuff, just because I know there's a lot of stuff out there, but I do just wanna talk about cleaning and maintenance. Reason being is I see a lot of firearms come in here and it looks like these things haven't been touched in God only knows how long. And I'm not saying this in any kind of bad way toward anybody, all right? And why I wanted to do this video and why I wanted to talk about this because like I, I had, I've had one firearm come in here and it literally had cobwebs in the chamber. So that's, and it, it's been, a, it's been a, lo a long time since I've seen something like that. But now I do also get some pretty dry guns in here. So that's why I wanted to do this to kind of talk about cleaning and maintenance, all right? We, we've got to make sure we're doing some maintenance, we're doing some cleaning on these things. Now, some people are probably going to get mad at me. Some of y'all are probably going to turn into keyboard warriors and get in there in the comments and sit there and talk shit again. Like I've said in my other videos, I really don't care. Okay, I'm here to try to help people. I'm here to try to educate people. So, not, I don't want to say this. I'm, it's, I don't want you to think you need to clean your gun after every time you shoot, okay? The more you practice, the more you use your gun, the more you're gonna better know your gun. And a lot of times your firearms are really good at telling you when they need to be cleaned. So what I mean is, is if you're having some weird issues with your firearm, it not feeding right, it not ejecting right, you've just got a little weird things going on with your gun, then it's probably needing to be cleaned. I'll be honest, I, you, you can call me a gun abuser because I will go a little bit before I clean my gun. So that's why I wanted to do this. Everybody's different, every gun is different. Now I've got some firearms that I would probably, what I like to call them, I call them diva guns. They need a little bit more attention than some of my others. So I'm gonna clean them a little bit more often than what I do my other guns. Now the key is the maintenance and the key is lubrication. Keeping your gun lubricated while you're using it is vital because there are parts of your gun that are metal on metal that are sitting there rubbing against each other. And I know you've probably heard it before. If you've had some of my classes, you've definitely heard me talk about it. And it's the old thing is you're not gonna go drive your car without some oil in the engine. You don't need to go fire your firearm without some oil on the working parts. Most of the time with your long guns and your rifles, and your shotguns, those are gonna be your bolt because that's metal on metal there. But that also will dictate how well, much your lubrication use will be dictated by the type of material that your upper and your bolt are made out of. For instance, nickel boron, that's self-lubricating. Okay, but now for that to work, you've gotta have a nickel boron upper matching the nickel boron bolt. 
If you only have a nickel boron bolt, you're still going to have to put a little bit of lubrication on there. That self-lubricating meaning nickel boron, nickel boron. All right, and there's other stuff out there, but it's going to dictate what your gun is made out of. Most, now I will say most of your revolvers, I put a little bit of lubrication on the cylinders, but I, it's a, when I say a little bit, I mean a very little bit. You don't have to put a lot on there. And that applies to your long guns and your handguns, or I should say your semi-automatics. But you don't have to go in there like you putting ketchup on your french fries. Okay, it shouldn't be oozing out all over your hands, making it hard to hold your gun because your hands are slippery from all the oil that just ran out everywhere. So a little bit goes a long way. Now, what type you're shooting, the temperature of the day, direct sunlight, a lot of this stuff plays a factor. So what I mean is if I'm out running my AR and it's middle of summer and 95 degrees outside and I'm in direct sunlight, that oil is going to evaporate a little bit faster than what it normally would on like a colder day or something where I'm shooting, you know, maybe a handgun and I'm not running it as much. But all those things do play a factor in how much lubrication you should be using on your firearm. But again, a little bit goes a long way, all right? Now for me, I like Shooter Lube, and I'm gonna have their website somewhere up in the screen here, and I like Breakthrough Cleaning Technologies. I'll have their information up in the screen as well too. Those, to me, are two of the better companies out there when it comes to cleaning products. Now with that, make sure if you don't want to use one of those companies, just make sure whatever you use has the solvent and the lubrication separate. And there are some companies out there that put that in one. I don't like those. That's just me personally. All right, this is how you want to do it. This is what you want to use. All right, I'm just letting you know what I like. Shooter lube. Breakthrough Cleaning Technologies. Now the Shooter Lube, I have not found it in any stores here in my area. And even when I've traveled a little bit and gone into a few gun shops and firearms that sell firearms, I have not seen Shooter Lube being sold there. So that stuff, you're more than likely gonna have to order from their website. Now the Breakthrough Cleaning Technologies, I am starting to see some of their stuff in especially your big retailers like Bass Pro Shop, um, Cabela's, Palmetto State Armory, uh, Dick's and places like that. And I'm even starting to see it in some of the smaller mom and pop gun shops as well too. But those are the ones that I like and I use the most. All right, another great place you can go and find some really great cleaning products is go out to knowotherchoice.com. All right, they are one of our affiliates, so anything you get from them, make sure you use SCGS5. And I'll have that somewhere up in the screen here with the website and the promo code. But you can always find that on my link tree. You can find that on my website as well too. But he has all the cleaning products that you need. Realistically, when it comes to cleaning, you really just need solvent, you need oil. Most of your handguns are probably gonna come with some type of bore brush, okay? If it doesn't, a decent little bore brush. I mean, truthfully, you can pretty much clean, I, I can clean a rifle, a shotgun, or a handgun with just those three things. So don't think you gotta lay out all these freaking fancy tools and stuff. It just depends on where you feel comfortable. If anything, maybe add in a toothbrush. So a toothbrush, bore brush with your T handle so you can go in and out of the barrel there and then uh, solvent and oil. I mean, that's really all you need, a cleaning mat maybe, okay? Um, what I will say is if you're gonna clean them and you don't have a cleaning mat, don't just use old clothes and rags and throw it down on your dining room table and then you pick everything up and now you got a big 
freaking spots from the solvent stuff right there on your dining room table. So, those and the, the cleaning mats you can get off of Amazon pretty cheap. So, there's a lot of stuff out there when it comes to that. I'm not going to sit here and say one cleaning mat is better than the other cleaning mat. You've got some that are really long so if you're doing long guns and stuff and then you got some short ones if you're just doing handguns i've got both just because those are things i've picked up in swag bags from events and stuff that i've gone to but that's really about all you need now if you only have say a nine millimeter handgun and a 556 five, rifle just get kits for those two if you're planning to add to those collections, or let's say you buy your first handgun or your first rifle or whatever your first, you buy your first gun and you start to like it and you start thinking, all right, maybe I want to get this gun. Oh, I like this caliber. You know, you want to start growing that collection, then go ahead and buy yourself a universal kit that has just about everything that you need from your brushes to uh, patches to your eyelids to your T-handles to all that stuff but now if you're just going to go buy a 9mm handgun then that's it that's all you're ever going to have that's fine just go get you a cleaning kit for a 9mm so they've got kits if you want to go buy a kit or you can buy the pieces and build your own kit but we need to make sure we're doing some cleaning and some maintenance. Now let's say there's a firearm that's been in your safe for six months and you are got some buddies coming over and you're gonna wanna get it out and shoot it. Get it out, give it a little cleaning, get a little lubrication before you take it out. So you're not like the one person that I racked the slide back and bam, there's a cobweb right there in the chamber. Again, I'm not picking at them. I'm not making fun of them. I just want everybody to understand a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of maintenance along the way is very helpful to your gun. Your gun will like you a lot better if you put a little maintenance to it. And we're only discussing cleaning and maintenance. All right, maintenance being making sure everything's working properly. I'm not talking about maintenance as far as swapping sights and triggers and safeties and things like that, okay? Now, there are some great videos out there on YouTube to help you out with that stuff. There's, I'm sure there's probably a gunsmith in your area where you'd be able to get some help with that if it's not something you feel comfortable doing. But all I'm talking about right now is breaking your gun down and cleaning it. If you don't know how to do that, you're near me, check out my website. I've got cleaning classes where I will, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to break your gun down, you're gonna break it down, and you're gonna clean it so you understand what's involved with cleaning it and that it doesn't take that much time. Now, if you just got the money to spend and wanna be a little lazy, some of your gunsmiths and some of your gun stores will do the cleaning and stuff for you. Or if you, again, if you've got the money, go buy it for yourself. But it's like a little, looks like a little toolbox almost. I shouldn't say little, looks like a big toolbox. And put solvent down in there and it, it, it's going to get it way cleaner than what you can as far as doing it by hand. Now, a lot of, I, for me, I clean my guns to where they will function. Now, if it's something that I'm looking at possibly selling or trading, then I'm probably going to take it to one of these guys, especially up to my gunsmith and let him do his thing and drop it down in there. So if you're in the area, Bob Gotts is his name, UAG Custom Shop. He does great work. He does seracoding and all kind of different things. If you need help with your gun and it's a little above your knowledge level or what you feel comfortable with, hit him up. Tell him I sent you. He'll take care of you. But a little bit of lubrication goes a long way. That, again, is the key thing. But I do still periodically clean, break them down and clean them. Again, I'm breaking them down to where I can clean them so they function. This isn't anything that you have to sit down for two, three, four hours and clean your gun. 
if it's a handgun or a revolver and you've got some experience, honestly, it shouldn't take you that long to clean it. Even if you don't have a lot of experience and you're going by a YouTube video, it shouldn't take you that long to break it down and clean it. it so don't think you've got to put a lot of time into this. But again, that's it's where you, what you want to do where you feel comfortable with it. If you want to put a lot of time into it, put a lot of time into it. But please, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of maintenance along the way. Again, if you ever have questions about some of this stuff or when it comes to cleaning or anything like that, like I said, YouTube is your best friend. If you don't know how to break your gun down, YouTube will be your best friend. Break down Smith & Wesson EZ9. Break down Glock 19. Break down Canic TP9 SFX. Break down Sig Sauer P365. Break down Sig P320. You put in breakdown and then the make and model of your gun, there's gonna be videos that are gonna pop up. So please, people, make sure you're doing some cleaning, make sure you're doing some maintenance on your firearms. You're, they will appreciate you for that. They will last longer and they will not, I shouldn't say that. He, you know, there's, we'll get into malfunctions and stuff in a later subject. I'm not gonna necessarily say that because a lot of times it's not necessarily the gun, it's the ammo malfunction, but eh, we'll, we'll, I digress, we'll talk about that later. So shooter loo, breakthrough cleaning technologies, there's hops, there's, there's all kinds of stuff out there. I just like shooter loo and breakthrough cleaning technologies the best. A lot of their solvent I can spray on and pretty much wipe it clean depending on how much I have used it. There's other tools out there besides what I mentioned. You can find that stuff on Amazon, you can find it on the internet, you can find it in gun stores, gun shops, gunsmiths, this everywhere. If you ever have any questions for me, my link tree will be somewhere up in the screen here so you can find out all of my contact information. All right, if you do need, again, some cleaning products, go check out Kevin Dixie with no other choice. Remember that promo code is SCGS5 when you go to check out. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Trained to live. See you on the range.